You're not in charge of me. Workbench. Throughout the game, you'll find weapons and armor. Oh, it's crafting. Even this game has crafting. Didn't you guys tell me that I don't really have to do crafting to be successful? But did you see the new LOTR trailer? It looked like not the worst thing ever. I think I watched it. Wait, what's what do you mean by new? Dark spawn pass. <laughs> it's not crafting? Upgrade. Upgrade. Uh it's So I need ingredients to do it. Attack bonus. Came out a few days ago. I didn't see it then. Okay, can you link it in the Discord CM? It's not as involved. Okay. Click. Oh, I already have these? Oh. I have one of them. Well, that's kind of cool. So it's like augmenting. Like in Fable, you don't really like craft, but you you can like augment a weapon. Okay, he's got two blasters. That'll work well, hopefully. Every time you leave the apartment, you must select which party member it will. Since this is the first time you're leaving, you'll have to take Car. I guess I just have to take you, Car. Look at his picture. This is like, this is like a guy. This is like a guy that just got divorced on Facebook. Like, like he's like 30 something and he just got divorced and he's like newly single and he's updating like his Facebook profile picture <laughs> oh yeah I should do a save um <laughs> that's what it reminds me of okay right you alien scum everybody get up against the wall this is a ray Oh no, the Sith are so evil though. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Red flags. This humans hiding out with aliens. They're Republic fugitives. Attack! Well, we were discovered very quickly. Oh my god. Okay, so immediately rumors are gonna get out about us killing Sith here, so that's great. Our cover is like already blown. Hello, couch potato, welcome in. <laughs> Getting into a <his> smolder, right? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, time for breakfast. Have a good breakfast. I hope it's delicious. Every time someone in chat says they're having breakfast, I'm like, that makes me want to eat chocolate chip pancakes the next day. <sighs> Why is the alien victim blaming his friend? Wait, did he? I already blew my cover. I guess I should have been sneaking. Apparently we should have been sneaking, Karth! Damn you! <laughs> Won't someone come searching for this? We gotta hide the bodies. Stay out of my way or I'll kill you too. Um, that's... Question. Isn't it kind of weird? Wouldn't... If I started acting like a Sith, wouldn't Karth be like... Like, wouldn't he want to move against me or something? Chocolate chip pancakes. So good. 
And then if you're feeling really spicy, you can put some peanut butter on them. Should have never talked back. Oh, I thought he said I should have never talked back. It has dwarves in it. I'm going to have to watch that after stream. Um, that sounds, that sounds really pog, CM. Yeah, it hasn't questioned my Darth name. Like, well, can't help it. I was just born with this name. Um, won't well, someone come searching for this? I'll move them so it looked like they were killed. Nice! We're on the same... Oh, also, Karth can't understand alien languages? Or he said, like, I couldn't understand a lot of alien languages, but I don't know if he can, I guess. Maybe he can. Well, I have my weapons out. Can I put those away, or... We Dude, are that's... not alone. <gasps> really Escal? not alone. Welcome in, raiders! Thank you so much for the raid. Let me give a save real quick. Before I Holy get crap, that's a dragon. Thank you so much for coming over here. How was Tiny Tina's Wonderlands? I've heard that that game is really fun. Thank you for bringing your community over here. How are you doing? How's life? I hope you had a good stream. Feel free to get yourself some food, water, nourishment, whatever you need after that stream. Thank you for coming in here. Also, if anyone hasn't been here, this is the pillow fort. And uh, we're playing Kodor for the first time, and it's day one of Kodor. First ever stream? What? That's so exciting. Can we get some hype in chat for that, for Escal? How did it feel? Did you like it? Um, That's so exciting. That only happens once, you know. <laughs> God, I hate myself. <laughs> okay, new save slot. Karth. How do you spell his name again? C. Karth. Cover. Blow. Blow. You know what? Blow. I'm going to leave it. I, I really shouldn't leave it, but I'm going to leave that. So this is our... <laughs> That's our th the apartment. Now I'm just going to explore. I forgot what he said our mission is. The search... I know we're looking for Bastila, but... You should probably begin by investigating reports of escape pods that crashed into the under- Oh yeah, he said we need to get good to go into the- <laughs> I know, the hype command is so bad. Uh, we need to get good. Like, to blow that cover, yeah. But then I was like, the word blow is so- <laughs> Anyway. Uh... So, planetary information. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to get good. I guess if we see any report- I'm just gonna explore. The quest for romance. You know that's always- <laughs> That's always the primary objective. Hello, janitor. Hey there. Well, watch, watch where you're walking. I just clean those floors. Who are you? My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. He probably can tell me stuff. Never thought they'd rent that abandoned Shh. apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. Oh no, he's learning too much. Because of the quarantine, can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. He's he's he knows too much already. This is making me miss Ray streams. Honestly, I was just thinking about that the other day, and especially because of Kodor. Talk with everyone. Okay, so just explore and talk. Hello, John. Can't wait till the re-release, do it. Do we know when that's happening? You guys want me to be evil so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna feel it out, okay? The, e the, the Sith options are pretty evil. I don't know if I can swoop to that level yet. Ray taking a break. Um, I believe has been kind of on an extended break um, and just doing real life stuff so that's 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 all I really know there was like new job 
job pursuits, career pursuits, all the things I should be doing, you know? Um, but yeah, Ray is a lovely person. John was on stream with me. Oh, hey! Well, welcome in! I hope, I hope you had fun on the stream, too. I did that a lot at the beginning of streaming, too. I would play, like, games with my sister Morgan. And it, it helps to, like, when you're getting used to the feel of streaming and, like, talking no, bad, and, like, bad idea. all of that. Horrible. Don't do it. Swooping is bad. <laughs> yeah, why don't we have that quote either, that sound? I want to ask you some questions. I don't questions. know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I could try and help you out. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. We got to get down to the lower levels. Gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. Swoop. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. So... We can probably get information there. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there, then. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. I want to ask you something else. Don't know how much I can tell you, but... Mm, where can I get some... Oh, okay, so this guy does know some things. Lego! Welcome in! I'm so excited to play this. And, and good morning. I might want to check out the cantina. <laughs> Play that game every day after work. We figured why not stream it, let others see. Exactly. I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed the experience of it. I know I had fun at the beginning of streaming too. Um, even though I had no idea what I was doing. Um equipment. Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt store. She's right across mm. from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Just keep following the apartment complex ring. Who is that with the booty? The It'll take you out to the upper streets there, then. And from there, just head south of Wayne. Someone with a booty back there. Okay, I didn't listen to this direction. Keep following to get the elevator. Head south, whatever, okay. Don't know how. What do you think of the Sith? Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. Tars. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell okay. you. Okay, <laughs> this guy's very, <laughs> very boomer. I should get back <laughs> anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm, I'm here most of the time. He's gonna be. He's a spy. He's a spy for the Sith. Hmm. I don't know which way to go. There's that booty lady over there. We could. Oh, I didn't even search this. <gasps> Look at all this stuff I didn't get. This looks like it might be. Oh, no, it's not a dead end. Oh, I could just hack into people's rooms. <gasps> Um, did they make up full languages in this game? Or how, how are the language systems? Does anybody know? The maps are small. Okay, okay, good, good, good. I was- that makes sense, too. I like that so much more. <laughs> Wait, what is that emote? Cake? This game is all about cake? Twi'lex. When was the last time there was a cow song? I think I played it- No, I played the- I played the, um... Not the cow song, the other one. What is it? The goat song? I played the goat song on Saturday right before the stream was... crashed. I know, right? He wants me to get his Malik. <laughs> they did not what? It's the same gibberish. Okay, okay. Okay, so it's just nice, nice. We need a cow emote too! Or something like that. <laughs> oh, the cake! I finally get it! 
They made enough to say the lines in the movies. Okay, so it's not like Elvish. Or people sending me drow in my Instagram <laughs> messages. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Don't panic, but my name is Darth Malex. <laughs> I don't care what your name is. I'm not telling you mine. See, like, I might select that if it wasn't quite so rude. There's, like, no middle option. Okay. <laughs> So they're temporary shields. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee. <laughs> And just undermining the guys. <laughs> I don't know. Is this like a good night, Fitz? Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, I can translate this. <laughs> the sound clips. They do have researched roots based off Earth languages. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Hmm. Did they get it from the Mandalorians? I feel like I might skip some of his uh, sounds. Energy shields of their own. Both sides are scrambling to come up with new weapons to slice right through the shield. But until they do, you're going to see melee combat coming back to the forefront. Okay. Not much more to say, except that I've managed to get my hands on one of those shields. It's not cheap, but it could mean the difference. Yeah, it just goes on very long. Do you want to see what I have in stock? Why do you have a kiosk set up here? <laughs> I'm curious about this illegal aliens thing. Most aliens aren't allowed to have a residence. Oh. So this is odd. So aliens don't usually live here, but now they're illegally renting out. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's just like the 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 sound the the talking of the language goes on like way longer than it takes me to read it. But I don't know if it's helpful to you guys if I like read it out loud, but then I'm like talking over, or if I just let you guys read it to yourselves. Hello, Mark. Welcome in. They didn't really put a lot of effort into it. Um, would you like to know something useful about companion conversations? Sure. It's time for me to get ready for bed. Thank you for coming over here and congrats on your first stream ever! First raid target. That's such an honor. I hope, I hope, um... I hope it continues to go well for you and you have a good time with it. It's exciting. Sleep well. <sighs> I don't really want to buy his shield and I don't think I really have that much money anyway. Aren't you worried about getting caught? 
They turn a blind eye if you illegal aliens just weren't worth the bother. The Sith don't care either way. You want to see what I have? I don't like how pushy he is. Um, but let's look. Oh, wow. There is a lot of stuff in here. So... Um... I don't know, though. Light battle armor is what I already have, I believe. I mean, if I need to... Do you guys think I need to look at, like, buying new stuff already? I don't think I do. It's, like, so soon. Conversations are triggered automatically. However, your companions unlock a new conversation every time you level up. Make sure to talk to all your companions every time you level up and not when they're automatically triggered. Oh. Because you're level two, you triggered a new conversation with Karth. Then you can have right now. Interesting. Weapons and grenades to sell my junk. Oh, shoot. You're right. Sell list. Mm. Sell my clothing. <laughs> How Does your inventory get pretty easily full? I can sell my short sword because I'm not using that. Do I have two short swords? It says I'm not even making any money off this. I'm just giving it to him for free. Um, blaster pistol. Ion blaster. Um, common ranged weapon, most common ranged weapon in the galaxy. Stream of energy causing havoc. I don't know. Which guns do you think I should keep? Should I keep one of each of these kinds or should I narrow it down? I was using the grenades. I don't mind using some grenades. That was pretty easy in combat. Um, temporary boost in constitution. Temporary boost in strength. I guess I'll keep those for now. Yeah, inventory management, my favorite thing. I think for now I'm good. I don't know. I haven't I haven't played around with using the guns yet, so I don't want to I don't want to uh choose. Oh yeah, in companions. You're right. I need to assign them. We share an inventory. That's a good point. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, that's true. We'll just keep stuff for now. I, I don't really feel like I'm going to buy anything. Maybe later. But we know he's there. So, like... Yes, what's on your mind? Will he tell me more about himself now? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. He literally said a second ago that he couldn't. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Oof. Calm down, I was just asking. You're talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. Good soldiers follow orders. Them, I, I didn't. Why is he flailing his gun around? Excuse me. Why is he doing that? Oh my god. He's out of control. Yeah, he took him bar. <laughs> Good soldiers follow orders. Better soldiers? Challenge orders when they don't make sense. Like fives. Good soldiers follow orders. Better soldiers think for themselves sometimes. Oh, take that! 
<laughs> Dogma's my favorite clone. Get out of here. Get out of here, Artemis. Mods to fix the weapons. Yeah, what is he doing? What is he doing? The same reason you walk everywhere with the swords. You know what? <laughs> it's okay. Them. That shouldn't mean I failed them. I didn't! Okay, so I'm immediately having to emotionally support Karth, which is fine, I guess. Hey, why are you getting so mad at me? It's not like this was my fault. You know what? That's a good point, too. Them, do you mean the people of your home world? Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I... I'm what? sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. Um, if you have more questions, ask them later. Red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. What was that? <laughs> what was that? No! That was so weird! Okay. <laughs> Something... All I can assume is either he's lying to me or something happened to him, probably something traumatic, and he has, has has trouble knowing what actually happened. But like, a red flag that he's like, all I do is take action. I never think about uh, my own past. Who's this guy? Okay, that was interesting. And I want to talk to you. Oh. I probably shouldn't break, so this goes to the upper city, which we should probably go to. Aww. There's so much anti alien. What the heck is this? Random Ithorian. Robbing everybody? Wait, how do you rob everyone? Just break in their apartments, you mean? Oh, here's the toilet. I mean, do I get in trouble if I do this? Like, are there guards? There's no guards here. Who's that guy? Oh, no. I was stuck on the door. Oh, that's the janitor. Ah, just do it when he's not looking. Or we could sneak. What the heck is solo mode? I forget what solo mode is. Does that mean my companions? On it. Done. Well, Karth. These rooms are not very cozy. As they said, they're usually, like, abandoned, so... Hey, we got a computer spike! Well, you know what? This is very refreshing because, like... I'm not overwhelmed. It's so nice sometimes to play these older games... Where it's like... Maybe I'll regret this later, but... On it. It's like this area is not too big, and there's not just, like, a ton of random stuff. Like, there's a few people to talk to, and... Uh-oh. Well, awkward. <gasps> oh no, I am robbing people. What's in that bag? <laughs> well, surely this guy doesn't need a computer spike. Oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> A middling smuggler with a very big ego. I know, right? Karth won't follow. <laughs> I'm on solo. <laughs> solo mode. <laughs> oh, I get what you guys are. I get the joke now. When you want to stealth or sneak around without your buddies following you. Okay. <laughs> Going solo. There's a new button next to the stealth button. Allows you to go into solo mode manually. Okay, so sometimes I might have to use that, but... <laughs> Older games are also ruthless, that is true, so we're gonna have to take everything. This is a... This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Um, so... Is that every apartment? 
so now they said there's gonna be like an elevator or something. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean soft lock yourself? So this is my... Oops, I don't know what I just clicked. Oh, this one's... We got some more to break into. Hello? Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Okay, Obi-Wan. I'm sorry, I was just investigating the area. I'm looking for something to steal. <laughs> Stay out of my way and you won't get hurt. Hmm. This is like not persuasive at all. You buffed yourself. Oh, I accidentally hit F, I think. <laughs> um... That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. What? Who the heck? What? That's so random. That's such an NPC thing to say. It's like, but let me leave a leading statement so you have to figure out. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. <gasps> but all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. <gasps> I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. <gasps> well, I suppose you seem Good like thing I have persuade. When I cut Holden, it made I just broke off. into her house. He also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my hut head. Slug. I did. Are That's you kidding? Out here. We're killing him. We're killing him. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Holden, you're dead. Maybe I could speak to Holden for you. Could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the local. Oh, good thing I'm it's going there. Really good. Holden's used to get on his own way. That's one of the fringe <laughs> benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Mm-hmm. I can't help you there. Since this... Okay. Goodbye and good luck. Well, I could have killed her, but like that... Nah, I gotta get that guy. The game is one that taught the mini fish to have more than one save. Not for bugs. Okay. Well, that's a good warning. On it. Done. I'll probably just go forward with whatever disastrous consequences I get, but. Sad. Well, Karth, you told me I have to save the Jedi, so... I guess we go to the upper city, as this is the elevator they're talking about. But I have to get to the cantina in the lower city. Right? But that's the only way out of here, as far as I know. I could look at the map. Well, that's not that helpful. I think Darth Malaxel might be a bad guy. <laughs> Me too. Maybe just a little bit. New game, new me, Karth cover blow. <laughs> new slot. Um, Can I have like a million save files? Is that okay? Or is it gonna like slow down the game? Uh, how about upper city? Go. Call that a map. Oh, an unwinnable fight. I get what you mean. Ooh. This is kind of pog. I can't believe the Sith put a quarantine on the planet. It's bad enough we can't leave. But all you off-worlders are stuck here too. Are the droids like the guards? Greetings and good day. 
On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you yep. to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a cryptical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taurus. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, also I am told. Or oh, so I'm told. May I be of any further service to you? Upper and lower city. Okay. You only had like four. I've had a lot, like a hundred. Okay. I am afraid that is impossible. Taurus is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. So I wonder if the, the whole game is going to be set on this. What the heck was that noise? The Taurus Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the Taurus We're going to the lower city. It's a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Nope. Oh, hardly any aliens. Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taurus. And the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I, I see. see them arrest a single alien for traveling the upper city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? Actually, this makes me wonder, though, because, like, the Sith... The Sith in the content that I've known in Star Wars, they're not, like, anti-alien, like, human supremacists, are they? I never got that impression, at least. Is this just, like, completely different in that regard? I mean, I know it's a completely different, you know setting and time and everything but <sighs> who do you work for you work for the sith he already told me bye then if you will excuse me i must continue my appointed rounds okay so is it going to show me a map it said sometimes there'll be a map of of the regions if it's like a city but there isn't one the sith are a lot different okay the Empire is not about, not sure about Palpatine. Oh yeah, I guess the Empire is too. I heard there's a swoop gang war in the lower city. Kind they of, yeah. They get shot just walking in the streets down there. <gasps> Look, there's a, there's something crash here. Wait, couldn't this be what's Basila? I mean. Republic escape pod or was that mine was that the one I came in that's probably the one I came in <laughs> okay well let's go this way first this looks like a bathroom <laughs> or yours uh. Kebla shop I don't really want to buy things right now but hello I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the equipment. Oh, the droid. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy. <laughs> Thank God for cars. Pounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. I don't really want to buy stuff right now. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? These merchants are so ready to sell. Just like so ready to make the deal. Palpatine likes to kill everyone. <laughs> what could that be? <laughs> I was like, we already discovered the mystery. Do you know anything about those escape pods? Oh, that's a good question. I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop Bikes, terrorizing the Lower City like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so swoop bad bikes. when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker Gang... <laughs> The lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Hmm. 
Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Hmm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask. Just where admits it came. this. You understand? Davik's nothing but a petty crime lord. Um, is Davik working with the Sith? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. Oh. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The Swoop Gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement instead of always going after each other. How do you feel about the Sith? Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power. <laughs> That's so true. My meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine. No, they're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. <coughs> Terrace isn't so bad. As long as you stay in the upper city, just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Okay. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. That was actually really useful information. Um, let me check the... So I have the voice volume up all the way. Movie volume. That's the cutscenes. Okay. I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. I feel like it got louder some, or maybe it was just because I went... Don't bother me, I'm here on official Sith business. They're like, avoid the Sith. Oh! Wait, am I breaking into the cantina? I'm confused. We got a hat! Yeah, we got a hat! Next step, put the pillows on the hat. Um, the Empire enslaves the Twi'leks and the Wookiees. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Heavy weapons. No, you can just open it. Oh. It looked like it was like security. Maybe that security option always comes up. Nine months! Literally a baby. A <laughs> baby. Okay, so, uh... I was told to get information here. Wow. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> Who are you? My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Oh god, is this like Gwent? I want to play it, but I don't have a deck. It is. <laughs> do I do I have to do this? Do I have to play an in-game card game? Cause I I get so bored with those. But like, is it gonna stop me from being successful? That guy looks like the janitor back there. It's completely optional. It's not worth it. Do you just lose money on it? My baby's well behaved, yes. 
It's the only baby that I wanted. Um, it's R and G O. I. You don't even have your own deck. Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Interesting. Back again? Well, do you have? Who are you again? If you ever wish to test yourself again. That guy is something else. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Who are you? <laughs> my name's Garuk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. You're giving up gambling, why? That's a very personal question. <laughs> yeah. There's been a couple of boomers in this already. So you guys got rich off of playing this game. I see you. Don't get me wrong. The game's been uh, good yes, to me over we've the been years. expecting you. I've traveled the span thank of you the for the follow. From the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the outer rim. I've won countless fortunes and lost countless more. But that was long this guy ago. is you guys. And things have changed. This is you guys. That's why I'm looking to get <laughs> Who out. played this game originally when it came out? Summon your inner Lando. Oh no, are we gonna have to make a new point reward for this? Whew. Lando's pretty pog. It's a quick and dirty way to make credits. Save scum and you don't have to worry about not being able to get some of the better gear. Hmm. Sure, I'll buy your deck. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, <laughs> is there anything else I can do for you? Mm, ask you some questions. Of course, of course. And then My he has to give me the lesson. As it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can Aww. still manage to answer some simple questions. Mm, don't know what I can tell you that would be of any use. The upper city is nice enough. Though it was better before the Sith showed up. But... They don't bother an old guy like These people much. are all just like, don't oh well. Much about the lower city. It's rough down beneath. I just stay up here where it's safe and mind my own <sighs> business. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Shadows, hello. How did you get this game working? I'm a genius. I'm magic. I'm good at everything I do. Um, I'm an all-powerful being. What else? What else is there to it? <laughs> of course. My mind is in a shop. We're gonna ask everyone about the escape pods until they're like, "Have you seen those two people? All-powerful being, <laughs> a giant chillax." <laughs> Yeah, it's it's the hat actually. Nine months of waiting for it, and then you can do anything you want. No, but really, I just modded it. I mean, it worked before that, but like, I modded it to be full resolution, or like widescreen, and then bigger text and bigger menus. It's famed for crashing on new and latest PCs. Oh, really? Well, my PC is not that that new and flashy. <laughs> you know, it hasn't crashed yet. I don't want to jinx it, but nobody in chat said anything about it crashing. She's Darth Malaxel. <laughs> work lurk, have a good work day, Lego. Thank you for the lurk. Don't doubt her. <laughs> I have I have two things: either super low self esteem or super inflated self esteem. There's no in between, okay? You're giving up gambling. Okay, I already asked that. 
I'll be going now. Um, wait a minute. I need to give him... When is he going to train me? <gasps> He's not going to train me anymore? Don't know much. Oh no. Of course, of course. He was supposed to train me, but then I didn't click the option right away. Weird plug right there. Oh, also, yeah, I have a fan house. Had to install community patches and mod fixes and bugs. Oh, he added the rules to my data pad. Um, I did see some in in the mods when I was looking, uh, like a bugs, fixes, and patches and stuff. I didn't do any of those because nobody told me that I would need to. So, <laughs> I can totally understand compatibility being an issue. I don't know. It Maybe it will at some point, but so far it's been fine. Luckily. Um, I didn't do any of those patch fixes. Nobody, nobody warned me about that, so. No middle setting. <laughs> but, but did you get it to work for you? data pad yeah so is this my no this is my oh here the rules the basic the objective of the game is to have your face up cards total higher than your opponent's hand without exceeding a total of 20 if a player's total is greater than 20 at the end of a turn the opponent wins the set. The player must win three sets to win the match and collect the wager. 40 card main deck made up of four of each card numbered 1 through 10. And a side deck of up to 10 cards with values ranging from negative 6 through plus 6. Each player draws four random cards from their side deck to form their hand. These cards are available to the player for all the sets of the match. Each hand card can only be played once per match. I'm really fascinated by this ever continuing trend of putting like card games into RPGs. And I I don't know if it's just supposed to like break up the experience of the game or what but like it's so weird to me <sighs> crashes are the other reason we save no i didn't i didn't play that in mass effect <laughs> pod racing <laughs> i hope the game doesn't crash a lot i mean i've had games that have crashed before on pc like Dragon Age has crashed on me before. Um, Elder Scrolls games crash a lot. So like, it is what it is. As long as it's playable. Uh, so, cause like, I just get bored of card game. But then again, I'm not the kind of person that plays card games in real life. And like I have, I'll, you know what? Sometimes I really enjoy board games, but usually people have to force me to play them. The first player draws a card from the main deck and plays it face up. After drawing a card, a player has the option of placing playing one of the cards from their hand. Playing a card from the hand is optional. Only one hand card can be played each turn. A player's four card hands must last through all sets of the match. And the other thing is when I when I read rules or when people read me rules. I just like zone out completely, which I know I'm not alone with. Welcome in, Daniel. It's good to see you. Compared to Gwent, it's pretty basic. Okay. There's a mod that fixes a lot of the bugs in this game. Yeah. I am, I didn't do that mod and I don't know if I should. Do you guys think I should try to mod the like patches and bug fixes? I didn't want to like mess with things that because like when I asked other streamers about it, like F said that she didn't do any mods at all. And like other people that I know streamed it, they didn't tell me I needed to, so I didn't. 
Congrats on the sword. Yep, just in time for Kodor. <laughs> it's weird how that happened, right? You shouldn't need to. Okay. Okay, so basically you're saying I shouldn't read the rules and you just kind of intuitively do it. I don't like it. I don't like the I don't like reading the rules. So do I have to play we'll go back and talk to that guy, but we'll see who else is in here first. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. You're from the military. She's pissed and <laughs> just keep going on talking to her even though she's like, I'm not really here to talk to people. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like She's it so we show quiet up again. Duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay. Why do they talk so quiet all of a sudden and then they start shouting? When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find <laughs> some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Start playing the, the game! Uniform, so to speak. She's gotta play the card game. The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm just going to say- Okay, well. So there's secret. I love how I just have my swords out. Yeah, the the the. That's probably why. Gets quiet. Gets loud. It's okay. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Nope. Get away from me! I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. Oh, it says noble in his name. Um, citizen. Oh, there's too many people in this cantina since they added the music room in the back. I come here to relax, not to fight with <laughs> crowds. Oh, the music room! Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. Red flag. Pleased to meet you. What do you want, Jurgen? What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Um, I can barely even tell the music. Star Wars Nazim. Oh no, you're right. <laughs> Basically, blackjack. Except you want to get twenty without going over. You'll be able to pick up negative cards in your deck. I can try playing it. I'll try playing it at least once. Even though the card games aren't my thing. I'll try it. Um, I'm gonna say... <laughs> it's different, but I like Obviously, it. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my word, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before this Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. How will you arrange that? I have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. This is so weird. Should I... Sounds like you're running a scam. Exactly! You sting me with your words. I merely thought I could offer you the rare opportunity to meet a celebrity before they were famous. But I see you're not interested. That's too bad. They really are charming fellows. Very well then. I hope you enjoy the music. If you change your mind, come speak with me again. I would not be so bold if someone was talking to me with two swords out. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Of course they don't give us Sith officers from the minute. <gasps> He's a Sith officer too! Oh, it's like just like the lady was. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Yun Genda, junior officer first class for the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Terrace can't stand the Sith. 
could make this a pretty lonely job. Hmm. Can't blame people who did conquer the planet. <laughs> I shouldn't give away any personal details, but let's try the persuade. You're just doing your job, right? Just in case we get information. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> we we named Darth Malaxel, and then the the bad guy is what is his name again? Darth Malix or something? It's so similar. It's so similar. And I had no idea. <laughs> Malik. <laughs> Running around with your swords out. None of yep. Malik. And Malaxel. Both Darth. I'm gonna see if we can get information out of this guy. That's true. The people don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. Oh great. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know they have to make the best of things? Ew. You've got a pretty positive attitude. Everybody has their ups and downs. It's how you deal with them that counts. You've got a pretty positive attitude. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I feel like it'd be like sarcastic. Exactly. It's all about attitude. <laughs> I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet. It's so bad to, to call these backwater planets. On an assignment like this. But we do what we can to keep our spirits up. This is sounding like <laughs> You need to blow off steam once in a while. Um, this is a really awkward conversation. <laughs> um, this is the point where I would walk away, but I can't. So it must be tough being stationed on a hostile world. I don't know if this option is, but it just reminds me of Shepard and Garrus being like, oh yeah, blowing off steam flexibility and reach and so I'm like red flagging that option that's true it's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through it's good to talk about this stuff I mean I don't it's doubt that he's going dangerous. through his own things but it's also like soon. got a shift at military base some of us junior Sith officers are having a party later to blow off some steam I'd really like to see you again why don't you drop by the party I'll show you <gasps> on the map should I go? Is this a good opportunity to gather information? I don't know if this is like... <laughs> Karth is like, um... <laughs> is this guy sus? Definitely, but also I think he's just like a generic guy. Um... Welcome in back. The Jedi have reached for the Sith of flexibility. <laughs> I feel like we have to go. First time seeing this game. It's so fun so far! You guys, I don't know. I like it so far. I mean, I know we basically just did the tutorial, but yeah, I feel like we should try to get some information, like go undercover. Don't be late. We're starting right after our shifts in. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. What a weirdo. I mean, not that that was that weird, but like, I don't know. Yeah, that quarantine must be tough when you off world are stuck here. You should try and make the best of it and order yourself some Teresian ale. It'll take away some of the sting. Look at these dancers! This can't be Star Wars without Twilight dancers. That's something I've learned. I wish the off duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. Lol, that guy that just left. For the Republic escape pods and reek of the sewers. <sighs> Who dresses you? You look like you crawled up here from the lower city. Oh well. I guess we can't all have style. Bro, I've got armor on. Well, the band's pretty good, but I'm getting a little sick of them. If it wasn't for the Sith quarantine, maybe we could get somebody new in here to play. <laughs> Musicians too busy playing. <laughs> I want that outfit. Okay. Interesting. Stab some competition. You're right. You're right. Go undercover. Kill everyone at the party. Oh no. A real Sith Lord Malak got it by not defeating them, but by letting the Jedi do it for him. That's true, but you know what? Still went up. 
still went up in the in the ladder. The Sith are hunting for any Republic soldiers who escaped the battle overhead. They even sent a patrol into the Undercity to look for survivors. Oh, that's not good. Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the Undercity who dress better than you. She sounds like Azula from... Yeah, that lower city is nothing but a slum. Avatar. If the Sith want to win us Terizians over, they should clean the gangs out of there. You aren't from Terras, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Terrigian Ale. It packs more kick than most off-worlders can handle. Weird. CM! <sighs> Jarth Malaxel's fashion sense. Nice outfit. My shepherd wore a farmer's outfit. Okay, so where did I come from here? I don't know if I need to click on every citizen. I haven't seen these people. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And Everyone can't stop. <laughs> Everyone has to comment on it. Sorry, I'm not your waiter. Who are you and why are you bossing me around? Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy, and I could get you fired. Daddy? <sighs> Jack, you can't do the pet the lavalar. You can only do pet the lavalar on this screen. Since lavalar's gone on this screen. Oh, you got lavalar? Wait, what kind? What color? I'm sorry, don't get upset. I'll get you that drink. I don't even work here. Shut up, you spoiled brat. I don't even work here. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. Who cares? It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off duty. Should keep them from closing this cantina down. People have various yeah, different opinions. The off -world are stuck here. You should try and make the best of it and order yourself some Teresian ale. It'll take away some of the sting. Why do they keep saying that? Okay. If you're here to complain about the quarantine, don't waste your breath. There's nothing I can do about it. I just follow the orders I'm given. This Teresian ale. Uncle is Robert! We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Oh my god, these people disgust me. Oh wow, I'm already pissed. I'm already ready to fight for justice. Or become a Sith and just kill all of my enemies like Darth Maul. How are you doing, Robert? <laughs> it's a major deal. <laughs> um, is this the... I can't believe oh. we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch oh. the pool on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan. This and place Erlon is fighting. huge. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Mm hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now. I hope all you are better down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I okay, are you ready, chat? <laughs> two and over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again is the ever persistent Duncan. Dine is that you? Duncan. Well, I didn't know we were going to watch people move. Oh. <laughs> As usual, I'm oh, no. up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I <laughs> so sudden. What is, this? <laughs> what is this? Okay. Is this something I can participate in or something? If you don't succeed, try, try again. I want that voice line too. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing Kanan out the airlock. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd uh, try to kill me or something. Well, you know what they say. At first you don't succeed. Uh, try, try again. <laughs> Twitch! 
Urba Basca Duana Chichopa Muska Kiyokaku. Can I stream on your platform? By the way. <laughs> How did he get that n nickname? No idea. I ate some ice cream earlier and regretted it. But I can't stop. Have you tried lactate? Mall sound bites? Oh my god. I need mall sound bites in my life, not even related to streaming, just like personal projects. What are you talking about? Um, goodbye. Who this this guy's the same type of alien as um I'm trying to think of the name. Uh pff, there was one of this type of alien in Clone Wars that they used over and over and over, and I can't remember his name. That was like a criminal. I forget it. I forget it. Oh, this is so cute! Oh my god, you guys said that they're not even cute! Yes, we've been expecting you. Look at the tongue! Oh, so I can duel. Maybe later I can risk my life. <laughs> Westish, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the pillow fort. Um, so I can duel. How profitable is this? I smell profit. Yes, Greedo! Thank you, Baker! I could not remember the name on the spot like I never can. Cosplay, <laughs> cosplay mom. <laughs> it's the voice, though. It's the voice. They're not. Wait, James Gandolfini. I don't know who that is, but they are cute. They're like slugs. You guys don't think slugs are cute? <sighs> and I thought we were we were people who could relate to each other. Ten percent? That's nothing. Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Take us for a ride? <laughs> Who says that? They've got a medic droid, don't worry. <laughs> um, am I supposed to do this right now? Is this okay? <laughs> Should I try this? How is Ko Kotor? Yeah, sorry, I have to say. I don't like the secondhand books. Oh no, I'm sorry. Kot Kotor is very fun so far. Welcome back, Shay. I'd talk to the fighters first. Okay. <laughs> These are all things I could come back and do anyway, but. Dead Eye Duncan. Oh, yeah, the guy that got shot. Fresh meat. You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Uh. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Dead Eye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in this cantina. You must have seen me in the dueling chamber. CT5555. Right? I'm so damaged, you guys. Dueling chambers? You know, the dueling chambers. Two people in combat. Look at Carf. <laughs> gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the only reason people come into this part of the cantina. Look, I'm the number five ranked duelist. Five, 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 five. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. He's that hut over there in the corner. So if he's a hut, is that, is that, is that Jabba the Hutt's family actually going back 4,000 years? Bro. 
brand shiny new boots on Amazon. That's what I do. Oh, hot our species. Oh no. Wait, what? I thought that Hut was the family name. <laughs> and I thought there was a different species name. <laughs> oh no. Wait, really? Then why do they just call them all the Huts? Huttess. Oh yeah, you're right. Or Huttees. I don't know how you say that. Wow, I'm very bad at this. Okay. Well... I learn something new every day. The huts are the huts. Because <sighs> they're all huts. Hello, Queen Ramus. My shipper is the worst lately. I'm sorry. Shin, hello. Welcome in. Jabba the Hut. So I thought Hut was a family name. Uh, yes, we And I you. apparently know nothing. I apparently know nothing. Thank you for the follow, Shin. Welcome into the pillow for it. <clears throat> You're the number five ranked duelist out of how many? That'll piss him off. Uh, five. But it's an elite group, okay? Oh, five. Like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can. But not many do. Okay. Okay. This guy's kind of funny. You don't look so tough. I bet I could beat you in a duel. Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner. To back <laughs> he just it up. got He's shot. Duel organizer. <laughs> I look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. My losing streak. Oh my god. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring, or did you just come to watch? <laughs> this guy is like. <laughs> Artemis and Trey or something like he sounds like he's like so like I'm so cool I'm the best fighter I'm so full of myself what why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is I'm just dying time to answer your Wait. questions I need to stay focused for my next match maybe Azure can help you out this he's voice sounds familiar too he arranges all the duels that's you it seem to be hanging around here an awful lot you actually going to step into the duel rings I want to step into the ring. <laughs> I want to ask you some questions. I'll be going now. I want to ask you some questions. I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe stay Azure focused. He's the hut over there in the corner. Playing Fallout 76. The hit RPG. The hit RPG. I have not played Fallout, but um, some people tell me it's a hit RPG. We have Maul yelling Kenobi. Wait, we do? We have a, that for a sound alert? Not Jabba Hut. Okay, Jabba. I had so many dreams. 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 I had so many chat. <laughs> Turtle Pig, how are you? Thank you for the 100 bits. I hope you're well. I started adopting that, by the way. I hope you're well. Since you told me that that's what you say instead of how are you? Because how are you is so demanding <laughs> in this in this burning world. Um, hut means precious. Ooh. You guys can refer to me as Hut from now on. This guy's job is to get shot over and over again? Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, the time Shepard got wrecked? Hey. Yep, that was my best effort and I failed. I've gotten real good at turning YouTube videos into sound bites. Pog CM! Put that on the resume too. Melanie the Hut. The Precious. <laughs> um. And don't forget the Darth part. What else was I saying? I feel like I was saying something else, but now I forgot. That's that's fine. Um, oh, so we have the Kenobi sound alert. Wait, is it like finalized, CM? Or you just have have located and who's this? Marl? I almost read that as Maul. Hello there, off world. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the cantina. 
I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. Okay. I don't know what to think. He's not as, uh... Do I know you? No, we've never met. <laughs> just the most people who come here to watch the duels uh, of bored okay. nobles. Looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the side. They all want me to fight them. Are you looking for a match? Um, I'd like to ask you some questions. It will work next stream. It's finalized. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have to maybe maybe at the end of stream I might be able to refresh the cache on the alerts. And then I can turn up the volume and maybe we can try it and maybe it'll work. I'll I'll we can try it at the end of stream when we switch to chatting. 1v1 me bro. Oh yeah, those images were great. It was so cool. I immediately started thinking about all of the galaxies. I'm like, that's where Jerlaxel is. That's where Reyes is. That's where <laughs> Are you allowed to talk Kenobi spoilers now? Um See, I know the Kenobi spoilers cuz I did watch Kenobi. But I'm still hesitant to talk about it because it's still so new and I think there would be people in the community that haven't watched it yet. So... Look at that! <laughs> I was wondering if you think I sound like knockoff Morgan Freeman. Wait, what? Precious... Oh, wait. Wait, I'm confused. Um, okay, I'm, wait, did I already Our ask him? Area of expertise is pretty much limited Sometimes when I look at chat, I'm like, I forgot what I was doing. I need to get better at doing both, but it's basically one or the other for me most of the time. Oh, Marl sounds like Morgan Freeman. Oh, I was like, what do you mean, Baker? I see, I see. The duelist. You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years. And I remember every duelist who's been through this camp. Oh, wow. Of course, there are only five of us left now. <laughs> Duncan, Gurlon, Ice, Twitch. Oh, me. Twitch is a duelist. Bendak Starkiller comes in once in a while, but he's retired now. Hmm. Duncan, worst duelist ever. His nickname is Deadeye because he fights like he's blind. I wouldn't worry about he's him. He's fifth. Gurlon used to be pretty good before the accident. His blaster overheated during a match and exploded. Oh my god. Currents. Paralyzed three fingers on his right hand. They call him Girl on Two Fingers now. He hasn't been the same. I wonder what he's going to tell me about himself. Well, he's still out here trying to earn a living. That's why I never fight with blasters. That's why I never fight with blasters. Duncan, worst duelist. Oh. Um, I, Ice? Uh, she's not I still need to talk to Ice. But she's a hell of a fighter. Confident, steady, popular with the crowd, too. If you go up against her, you know you're in for a tough match. Hmm, so that's her just listening right there. Um, question for you guys. Is this like normal how to play this game? Just like wandering around and talking to everyone? Like, is that, is that fine? Is it boring? Cause like, I, I, I don't know if there is like an expectation of how to play, but but I don't know, like I've been having fun just kind of going around talking to people. I don't usually, but the reason that I'm questioning it is cause like, I don't usually talk to everyone in on these types of RPGs that I play. So I don't know, but if it's fine, I don't know why. <laughs> I just like suddenly was aware. I'm like, I've been talking to like every single person and I don't know if that's like annoying or strange. Okay, okay, Queen Ramus, have a good night. Um, sounds like a knockoff Morgan Freeman. Yeah, the the space pictures are awesome. You're playing an RPG, yes. Okay, play how you want them feel. Just as, okay, you're playing old school RPG the way it's played. Okay, just I just get I I feel like I have this. The the thing is like I have this sense of urgency to like do things but like right now if i'm having fun exploring and talking to people that's what i'm gonna do you know what i mean but it feels better because in a game like andromeda or some 
some of the very large newer RPGs, it's like I always feel overwhelmed because I can't do everything on stream or like Witcher. I couldn't do absolutely everything on stream. So I always had to think about like, what was I spending my time on? But for this, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If we stick around for Gwent. <laughs> yeah. Some people love Gwent, but honestly, like I would, I would be the one zoning out then. But these people have been pretty interesting so far. It's also nice that the NPCs that don't really have anything to say, they just have like a one-liner and they don't they don't go into conversation, you know what I mean? Uh oh, Twitch. Twitch. I think that Rodian is completely crazy, but he's very very good despite his insanity. I knew he was going to be or good. Maybe because of it. Even I can't beat him. Okay, what about you? He's Me? Well, I've seen my share of battles. My best years are gone, but I can still hold my own against anyone in here. So he's maybe ranking himself as number two. Bendak Star Killer. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career, but he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian battle rager. Never liked having to face Is he the same dead? twice. Got so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. When they made death matches illegal, he went into retirement. Oh God! He still <laughs> around here sometimes. Bendak's the best there ever was. <sighs> Plain and simple. Even now, I'd bet that anyone who steps into the ring with him wouldn't make it out of <laughs> Okay. That's pretty dark. So I think we covered everything. My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might Some have. Some people are, I like I like old cheese, but I don't like Gwent. I mean, I don't dislike Gwent, but I don't really have fun doing it. And I don't really particularly like to watch it either. Like I'm just like I've been in streams where people have played Gwent, obviously, like in a Witcher stream. And I'm like, I just kind of sit there waiting for it to be over. <laughs> like, oh, hope you win. Wait. I'm not a big fan of mini games in RPGs. I'm like, OK, maybe I'll try them once. But after that, just to get the experience. Mm, just want some general imp Oh, hey, let's ask about the crashed pods. Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. This guy's so the willing to talk. Into the undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any. They idea. censor the news the too. Themselves rulers of Taras. It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. Good time to vacuum my room. Yeah. It's like it's not something that's gonna make me like leave a stream if I'm watching it. When someone plays Gwent, I mean, if it was all just a whole Gwent stream, I wouldn't watch it. But like, it's the it's the part of the stream where I just kind of like do something else until it's over. <clears throat> the duels themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols into the ring. One walks out a winner. The other is yeah, at least they stun pistols. If you're interested but... in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. Oh my god, speaking of the stun pistols, it was actually something in Rebels in the way beginning of the show. They were like trying to fight everyone with just the stun blasters, like the stun setting. And then <laughs> I was kind of like, okay, I wonder how long they can sustain this. And I think it was like, I don't remember who. Ezra and... Sabine maybe were trying to like stun everyone instead of like actually firing at them and I was like they're gonna have to stop that at some point and then when Rex came into the show Rex was like first of all you gotta stop setting your blasters to stun you just gotta start killing people <laughs> and I was like oh so that's how it happens but it's so funny because it's actually something that I noticed I was like well they're just like stunning everyone and then all of a sudden they started killing people after that. I'm like, wow, they're just killing everyone now. And then I remembered that Rex said that. <laughs> Disney censorship, maybe. <laughs> Chopper. Oh, yeah. Chopper does kill. But sometimes they live and they just float down to the loath cats and live in the field. They wanted Ezra to be a bit older. Yeah. I don't know how old Ezra is right now. Like, they... Ezra got like a makeover between seasons and stuff um, and clearly like went through puberty a little bit but I'm like I th I don't know if he's like I have no idea how old he was in the beginning and I can't tell the age of kids I think he's just like a teenager 
stuns people in the ghost. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe. Well, I need to talk to this lady. I know what you're going to say. It's great to see a woman in the dual ring strike a blow for equality. I'm a credit to my gender. Blah blah blah. Just save it, okay? I'm just here to take care of business in the dual ring. Hey, that's nice. For some reason, every woman who comes in here thinks we should have some kind of female bond. Guess what? We don't. <laughs> wow. That was cool. Um, dueling ring. What are you talking about? You don't know about the dueling ring? This is unbelievable. <laughs> and why are you even here? It pisses but them off. I don't really care. You know what? I'm not one for friendly chit chat. So I'm just going to deliver the cold, hard facts. I don't want to waste any more time with you. That's fine. Okay, I have to say, wow, that was now cold. You know why they call me ice. <laughs> if you're looking for a map, it's not even casual. that cold. Like that what? Hot over there in the corner? <laughs> oh. Otherwise, just go away. I established boundaries with a stranger. That's why they call me ice. Okay, so I'm probably not going to do this dueling right now. I want to go and um, maybe try the card game once unless you guys think I should try the dueling also before I leave not exactly cold <laughs> I gotta watch rebels oh yeah it, it does it there's there's good stuff in rebels just to set up the pawn you're right I saw you're getting a Pazak lesson from not really but okay girl. Learning the rules of Pazak. I accidentally easy. skipped the lesson. But actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Normally I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud was Dude, he just wants to make money so off of me. What does he mean? Game you. You <laughs> like that's the easiest money you could make playing someone who I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> this guy's like a bad Zevran. <laughs> I usually level up a bit. Okay. Oh, I didn't say before this, but um misses a lot of potential with its side characters. Yeah. I can see that. Oh my god, I it makes you know what Rebels really does too? It makes me want to rewatch Clone Wars. Wait, anyway, stand way is Andromeda. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> Save scum. Yeah, we could, but I don't have the... I only have 90 credits. Okay, bro. I'm only gonna bet, like, five. Um... So... Plus four, plus five. I can't go over 20. After this... I, I wasn't too into season one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Season two finale was so good. Renewed spirit. Hello. How have you been? This is just to set up my deck. Oh. Is this my side deck? Oh, yeah. Choose side deck. Oh. Well, guys, you know how you said it's just like blackjack or whatever? I've never played that, by the way. <laughs> I've never Andromeda is one of her songs. Oh. Oh. Have you watched the original trilogy? How many things are... Ugh. Clone Wars was so good. Clone Wars was way, way too sexy. I've been okay. And you... I've been good. I've been good. Life is chaos. I'm, I'm hanging in there. Spending time with good people such as you all. I'm a huge Ahsoka fan. Oh yeah, Ahsoka is amazing. Honestly, though, I really didn't like Ezra at the beginning of Rebels. And um, I think Ezra has grown on me a lot. Like, <laughs> I feel like I, I, I was, I probably related to Ezra more than I should have, considering he was like a teenager. I have set up a blackjack club in middle school. It was weird. Oh, really? We get the CM lore. 
You don't have enough cards. You have to. Oh, you, I have to choose them all. Oh, well, that helps. You're right. Okay. Are you sure you want to use this? Yeah, I guess. I remember they said there's one of, I mean, two of each. <clears throat> First to 21. Don't say that. Don't say that. <sighs> Treats its characters better, especially the villains. Ezra gets so much better, though. Like, Ezra actually gets funnier. And, like, I don't know. I liked that he was, like, I don't know. Without getting it too spoilery. 20, not 21. Hera is my favorite. Hera has grown on me a little bit. I really hate Kanan, so he's at the bottom. Honestly, I don't know. They're all they're all okay. They're all okay. The longer on it went, the stupider the Jedi look. <laughs> but the sexier the clones. That's the good thing. That's the good thing. The longer Clone Wars went, the sexier the clones got. Um, okay, so I should pay attention. <laughs> Darth Malaxel. So I have, this is my, what do I do? Yeah, I'm trying to play this game at least once Fahrenheit. I'm still packing. I'm wishing you luck with your packing. Your sisters are so cruel. Wait, why? <laughs> Wait, why? Kodor's story is amazing. Koi, welcome in. I am so excited. So far, okay, we did like the tutorial, a little bit of exploring the city and the one cantina. And I am having a lot of fun. They knew you'd fall in love with the clones. I know. And then they made you, I know. Plo Koon, I was literally, I was so, <laughs> I was so shocked watching episode three after watching Clone Wars. Why did you do this to me? <sighs> and also, I, I can't believe I was like, oh, I was I was joking about the clones so much in the first season, in the first couple seasons. I was like, is that Rex? <laughs> is that Rex? Oh, did Rex just die? <laughs> me later, literally crying, literally crying, sobbing. Clone Wars is my favorite Star Wars media. It's my favorite so far. They dealt you a card. You can end your turn and the game will continue. Stand on two or play one of your side cards. Okay. That's what I remember from the instructions. I don't remember. It said something about when you get to eight. And how many... How many... How far... How long do we keep going until someone gets to 20? But then I don't get it. Why would you play more cards? Why would you play more cards at first? I'm copying you and watching every Star Wars thing in Discord with some friends. <gasps> Good. Okay, what do you think? 20 or close to 20. Do you have a favorite Clone Wars arc or season? I thought you were going to ask if I have a favorite clone, and I was like, yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> um, That's hard. That's hard for me because... I will say that it took me a while to get very, it took me a while to actually get so into it that, that I like absorbed the details of what was happening. And so it's more like in retrospect when I look back, which is really why I want to rewatch it. You have other friends. <laughs> you're, when you're close to 20, you stand. Execute order. No. Yeah. Episode three. Prepping for the remaster. Hello, Tribesbot. Welcome in. Um, so I've never played this game before. This has been a long requested in the in the community here. And I know that there is gonna be a remaster, so I this is just kind of coincidence in terms of timing that we just finished playing The Witcher. And so we opened up a slot and you know, I, I just started getting into uh, I almost said Clone Wars. Star Wars this year. For the first time in my life. Somehow I was avoiding Star Wars media my entire life up until this year. So this is part of that journey, I guess. And Bioware, you know. What's with the hat? No. <laughs> Hello, Laszlo. Um, I got this hat to cosplay Drillaxel. Where did you get that great hat? Thank you, Vicious. 
So I got this this hat for a cosplay, a very specific cosplay from a book series that I'm obsessed with. Um, and it took nine months to be custom made and arrive. And so then I decided it's glorious and we're going to use it as a stream redemption. So use your points, use your mellow monies and voila, we wear a hat every stream and now it's going to be in all of my YouTube VODs. <laughs> okay. You would add more cards to get to 20, then stop, or get dealt cards for the same result. You can't get cards back you've played to take as many cards as you can before playing any? Okay. I already don't like this. Yeah, basically, Daniel. But yeah. Um, season 2 is the story properly starts. When they introduced Mandalore, besides that, the hugely important episodes. Oh my god, Cad Bane was so fun in that show. Also, I loved the Darth Maul stuff. Um, Darth Maul was so sexy at the end of Clone Wars. But I don't know. I don't know if I could place like a specific arc. Like certain things stick out in my mind, but. Like, I really love what happens with fives, but I also hate it. Because he dies and he was my favorite. But also that was so cool to me because it was this moment where like all of these future things that, that I knew were going to happen were kind of unfolding in this like revelation. And then this character gets killed anyway and none of it matters. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to enter. So... I feel like I'm just going to keep ending my turn. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we're already dangerously close. Um, 14. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, there's totals up here. Okay. Wait, so you're supposed to get exactly to 20? I mean, I could play this and these two, but they, they're they probably going to get to 20 before me. Hmm. Best of three games. Oh, you're right. 18? Wait, how do you get a negative card? Is that just... I don't have... Have you ever seen Blackjack? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> no, I literally have never played it. Never seen it. Um, Sorry, guys. I got behind in chat a little bit. I'm liking Clone Wars more for the third or fourth rewatch. Especially Ahsoka. Season five will be great. It really didn't pick up. I, I wish I could remember the exact like season or arc where I got like it all I know is that I went from being completely disinterested and like forcing myself to watch the show because my sisters said it would be good and like it was part of the order the chronological order and then all of a sudden I was like so invested that I was completely transformed as a person so like the moment that that happened I don't know <laughs> it's like a blur it's like a blur it's just like the moment of pre-obsession and and post-obsession Oh, you're right. Plus two. Wait, why can't I play this? That was beginner's luck. That was beginner's luck. Um. Oh, yes, but I only have this many. Okay. <sighs> well, well. Is the game just going easy? Oh, you can tie it anyway. Oh. But wait. Why is it tied? Because I got to it, I got to it first. Um. Oh, 
I really liked, yeah, Maul's character, uh... Maul's character was developed in Cl in Clone Wars, which I did not expect at all. I mean, I didn't know. Obviously, that'd be kind of spoilers, but... This has been going on a minute. Wait, what has been going on a minute? You tried the Kenobi. You both got 20. But I thought it was first. Okay, it wasn't first. Um, His beard is great out like that because he stood on 18. If you get 19 or 20, you win. Ah, uh, okay, I see. The whole Night Sister thing is when it. Oh, the Night Sisters were really cool too. And Ventress was a, a great character. Sorry, guys, I'm like reading half the messages in chat and then trying to finish this game at the same time, which I'm obviously not doing very well. Um,. The music, at least the music is soft. It's not like blasting in your ears. The Gwent music is really hype, but sometimes I'm like sensory overload. It's like too hype and I'm trying to like think, but then I can't think. So wait, because we tied, we have to do... How many rounds are there supposed to be? I thought there were supposed to be three rounds, but I guess there's... I don't really have a lot of options. First to three wins. Oh. Well... I see. Um, I mean, I can't win at this point. I found a try try again. <laughs> has music and Kanan. Oh no, what is Kanan saying in it? Can we cut him out? There's Gwent in Star Wars. I apparently, apparently. Hello, Legion! Kodor is so fun so far. So, so, so fun. Just getting, just getting started. Yeah, I was reading chat a little bit backward, but I look away from chat and then suddenly there's a whole other conversation going on and then I like try to participate, but then it's already like passed and it's, you know. I think we should send the clip no matter what. Even if it has Kanan in it, it's worth it. What? <laughs> I've already won two. Yeah, so I'm losing this. Do you just click stand? I got you. Nice. Who's your favorite clone? CT55555s. Five, 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 fives. <sighs> fives is my favorite clone. And I'm going to get him on a pillow. Nightmares. There. Finally. Over. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Again. Yeah, so we're going to get him on a pillow like these guys back here. We also have Hondo. Oh, yeah. I also have a crush on Hondo. So, Maul, <laughs> Fives, and Hondo. That's basically summarized my type of, of men. Yeah, Kodor looks amazing. Thank you for your suggestions. It seems to be working very well so far. Stand or end turn. Both will do the same thing. Okay. Well, damn this guy. It's almost like he's the best player in this place. I really... <laughs> this, is, this is just complete luck. This is just... Damn you. He's gonna win my five gold. Wait, did we not... Did he not win already? I thought he already won five rounds. <gasps> Look at that. I mean, not five rounds, sorry. Three. I'm gonna tie again. Oh. 
I won. You were lucky to win the last match. I should have bet but that luck money. Is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are that was luck. Again, I won't repeat the mistake. That's not that bad though. I could see that being a little bit more fun. Like you can move through it, through it pretty fast. Melt's love for Hondo, you know. It's what CM said. Crime boss. Find him. Fives, find him. I cried. Okay, and Rex is also one of my favorite clones, but I feel like Rex is also just kind of by default a favorite clone. Um, the name's Fives. Yeah, I love that when the the droid was like, five five is a number. He's like Fives. <laughs> I'm a person. <laughs> Not a number. He was so good. He was definitely kind of defective, but he was in such a good way. <laughs> you think it's luck? Let's do it again. No, let's not do it again. If you ever wish to test yourself See, that's the technique. He lets you win, uh, you and then you get confident, and you're like, oh, I'll bet more money. And then the next round is like way harder. Okay. Oh, shoot. It's already time to end. Well, well, well. This is time when I'm supposed to go read Servant of the Shard. <laughs> I won? Jesse was one of your faves? I'm so curious. One of my sisters likes Jesse. It's kind of fun because we, we all watched it together and we all have different favorite clones. And I like Clone Wars Hondo more. First of all, Clone Wars Hondo is way sexier. Like, whatever outfit they gave him in, in Rebels was just so bad. But also... Oh. Who are these people? Oh, these are the thugs. <gasps> Wait, I don't want a critical strike you. I want a flurry. It's that girl that I pissed off. Come here, I'll kill you. I'll kill you too. Daddy's not here to save you. It's okay, that's just XP for me. XP and loot. No end, only play. I know, extra long stream, let's go. How are you guys feeling? I definitely have to go pee either way. And I'm not planning on doing that in this chair. I'm sorry. Once you get the basics, you can... Yeah, I could see how that would be. The cards, you can flip between negative or positive. Oh, there are cards. Okay. Charismatic crime boss. Exactly. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, But yeah, and also in Clone Wars, I don't know. Hondo just has more going on, you know? So it, it feels like a little bit more of a... But he, he gets to do more, like, actionable things. I'm gonna say for sure. Uh... Oh, I always get confused with this menu. Cantina one. Done. <sighs> Daddy, she was talking to Karth. <laughs> I don't know if you could call him that. He might be a dad. But I don't know if he could ever be a daddy. <laughs> I mean, I can't make assumptions too early, but you know. Um, okay, so let me take a bathroom break quick and I'll decide what we're going to do. Um, I might stay up just a little bit later, or I might go to bed and read my book. I don't know. I'm supposed to stop stream right now, but I feel like it's a new- We are going to be playing this tomorrow night, too, though. Consequences to your actions. I know, right? Okay, so I'll be right- right back. The roguish dandies, literally. I'll leave it on this screen for you guys. Although I do have a fancy new BRB. You're gonna play it until I move. How many hours is that Fahrenheit? <laughs> like I have a BRB screen now. So wait, I'll leave it on this just cause it's new. I'll be right back.
I'm back. I'm back. Look at that BRB screen. Okay. Um, so I feel like I could keep playing, but I shouldn't is basically how I feel right now. Um, maybe tomorrow night I'll stay up a little bit later, but I don't know. I think, I think this is a, probably a good 24 hour coder. Can you test out the commands? Yes. So let's, let's, um, yeah, Fahrenheit's like, um, 12 hours until I'm done packing. Uh, so I'll be playing this again tomorrow night, starting, you know, after a brief chat. I start stream at 7 p.m. Central. So whenever we're done catching up in chat, I will, uh, I'm having so much fun with this. Like, I could definitely keep playing, but I'm like, my sleep schedule is already bad enough. And we're going to be playing it tomorrow night, too. Um, thank you all for being here for this. Uh, I just want to, I mean, I did just save. I think that'll be fine. I'm always like, so, um, look at that. I like that it takes you back to the menu when you quit like that. So then we could just sit here and vibe with this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning. I know a lot of it was like character creation, getting familiar with things and, um, tutorial and stuff like that but I don't know it's I had a lot of fun with it it's so nice to play something new 